Today I'm going to show you guys how you can make your own water bottle labels in Silhouette Studio, what templates I use and how you can do the same with your Silhouette Studio at home. Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Sam, welcome to the Ellie Rose Party Designs community where we talk everything about party decorations in Photoshop, in Silhouette Studio, in in Peck Monkey, and soon we're going to be learning about, or soon we're going to be talking about how to launch and grow your online business from scratch. Alrighty, so let's get started with today's tutorial. Alrighty, so I am in the main screen of Silhouette Studio. Now you can see that I have the business edition software. So if you, if yours is a little bit more different to mine, um, that will be mainly the reason why, because I am in my business edition. Okay, so to get started, all we need to do is make sure that our page setup is correct. So if you are new here, these are all your different type of toolbars that you have on the top here and, sorry, on the left hand side over here and also down here. And this is like your pop-up window. All right, so I have plenty of tutorials for beginners out there which I will link down below the video which you're welcome to check out okay so to get started we need to obviously make sure that our page setup is correct so to do that we just click on to page over here and your little page setup pop um, window will pop up and then you just pop in whichever size paper you're wanting to use now because I live in Australia our page setup is Oopsie. Our page setup is an A4, but for this tutorial, I'm just going to use the letter size. And I'm also wanting to make sure that my orientation is set at landscape because it'll be a little bit easier for me to use the template I'll be showing you. Okay, so to find your templates, you um, to use sorry to for this tutorial, we're going to be using templates that I have um, available in my shop. I will link it down below the video. Once you have downloaded them you will be given a zip file that looks like this here. All right, so all you need to do is right click that zip file and hit extract all and it will extract all of the files into the folder you have already set up. But I've already got mine here, these are them here. And what happens is they will be, sorry, this one, this one and this one. And in the actual folder, you have three different um, labels that I have supplied with you. One that has a barcode, one that is plain and one that has the nutrition label. Okay, so we're just going to click all three of those and I'm just going to drag them into my software and I'm just going to pop them to the side here. Okay, and let me just see if it's, I think I might have only just dropped in one of them. Let me just have a look at the back. Yes, it has. Okay, so I've only got one that has been brought in. Let's just go ahead and bring in the other ones. So we're going to drag that one in and that one in. And let's drag in our one that has the barcodes. Okay, those are all in. Okay, so I'm just going to bring this closer in and I'm actually going to rather put this back as orientation. I forgot that I had actually done it as an orientation and not as a landscape. So this is how easy it is to make your own water bottle label. So the first thing I would suggest is to go on the, first of all, you can actually save all of your templates in your library. Okay, so let's just go into there. All right, so let's go into our library and then make yourself a folder wherever you want to put your folder. So here's my folder here. All you need to do is right click and hit, um, uh, right click and hit um, new, and then you can just allocate all of your folders in there. So all I'm going to do is take those and I'm just going to drag them in there and let's bring them here. And we're going to move them into our templates folder. Okay, and then that's where you can save them if you want to. Alrighty, but for now, I've just clicked and dragged them into here. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is let's come up with a theme. So I am just going to go with, say, the superhero theme because that's the, the, the theme for my daughter's party this year. So I'm just going to 
find all right so here are all the things that all the clip art that I can use okay so let's go ahead and I all I'm going to do is make a square around the entire canvas like so okay and then I'm going to make that square I'm just going to make a blue for now and the outline is going to be blue all right now so apologies I forgot to highlight it all right and there it is there okay so now all I'm going to do is right click and bring to the front making sure that it fits this is bringing it further out the main thing is that your template is around the entire canvas okay and then all I'm going to do now is bring in my clip art so let's say for instance I'm going to use say superhero girl bring her into the side make her slightly a bit smaller and let's just drag this in so we can see what we are doing okay and drag her in further All right. so remember the idea is to use the template as a guide so this is obviously where you would cut out your water bottle label right across there okay okay and then let's just add in a bit of wording so all we need to do is go over here let's click on some wording I'm just going to use my favorite font which is Mr. Stretch go over here and type LE all right and then I'm just going to make this color let's say I'm going to make you white white with a white box around it too okay and let's drag you in now what I'm going to do is right click and hit duplicate and double click and I'm going to change that to the fifth and let's right click that I keep taking the wrong one but that's okay and let's go party and bring you in there like that and let's drag you back to there alrighty because don't forget that you're only going to see pretty much a little bit of it in the front because it's going to go right around your um, your entire water bottle so you want to um, it's up to you if you're wanting to put anything extra over here but I've made it big enough so that it can actually fold um, fold around um, and overlap each other okay so it's up to you if you want to put anything in there but I probably wouldn't advise it um, I think if there's going to be no if you're just going to use the blank one then yes I would probably suggest you can do that if you want to um, but that's how simple it is so all we're pretty much doing is you just drag in your clip art you add in your different fonts that you're wanting to use and that's it there's nothing really much to it besides using the template as a guide um, and then printing it out so all you would then do is I would then just hover over everything I would then group it together so it's all one layer okay and then that's when I would then go ahead and print it out or save it so all you would have to do is hit file and hit print I'm actually not going to print it but you would then just print it or if this is something that you are um, wanting to sell to somebody all you would do is go right click save as save it as your hard drive
and then I would then just save this as a oops no my apologies let's just go back you're going to go file you're going to go print but instead of hitting the print you're going to just go Microsoft print to print to PDF or however you print it and then you're just going to hit print and it's going to save it as a PDF file alrighty and that is pretty much it um, so the other templates, I'll just show you the other templates. So let's just undo that one. So that is the one that has the barcodes. So let's just zoom in again. So that was the barcode one. Okay. Um, let's zoom further out, pop you to the side. And here is your next one. So let's go right click and bring to the front. So this one doesn't have anything on it. Okay. So this one you can if you wanted to add your own writing to the sides um, you could do different things I mean I could show you another example that we can do you can probably do like a um, something like this all right now let's change this color to let's say let's change it to like this red highlight it change it to like that red and then go the same here and there okay and then let's pop you in there and let's drag you out to about say there it is my template back to the middle okay and then that can be there and this one you can go right click and let's move it backwards or the easiest way or what I would do is go here bring to the front and I would bring you to the front bring let's see bring you to the front and bring you to the front now there are plenty of ways of probably doing this I'm just showing you the most easiest way how I would do it okay and then we can take you and pop you there we can probably make you slightly bit bigger Alrighty, or you can add in a some type of um, um, digital paper. Whatever you want to use is up to you. That's why I say it's um, you can do so many different things. I mean, you can even add in like a circle if you wanted to, um, and then change. Let's just change this color to say white. Um, and let's do the thing also white. Be white. Um, what am I doing sorry there and change that to white also okay you can almost like add that in there too if you want to and then send that to the back like I say there's the possibilities of and uh, possibilities are endless when using these templates okay and then there's another one there all right um, and then you would just bring that to the front too so my suggestion would probably be to first of all add in your background then put in your font and your clip art um, if you're wanting a banner or like a border thing around it and then at the very end add in your template because otherwise you'll have to keep going pulling the template to the side and adding um, always hitting right click and um, bring to the front bring to the back whatever it is so it's um, there's a bit of um, like fiddling around with it but once you have down the first one just highlight everything group it together and then duplicate that a few times and then just pull it to the side add in your design so for instance like this one here I might as well just show you instead of talking about it so let's just group you all together right click oopsie group you together all right and let's just drag you to the side bring you back in all right, let's add in our thing. Here it is, yeah. Then I would then bring you to 
into it like that. Right click, duplicate it. No, sorry. So then this is when I would duplicate it a few times. Okay, bring you back on and just pop you there, pop you there, there. Let's just go further out and pop you there and pop you over there, just so you can get a bit of an idea, let's drag you, right click, bring it to the front, pop you on there, all right, that needs to be dragged in, you can drag that in, I have got it set up as um, um, US letter size, okay, and there we go, and then you just pretty much cut it out, or um, do whatever it is that you want to do. So it's very simple to make a water bottle labels. Um, it's just a matter of figuring out what clip art you want to use, what digital paper you want to use, what colors you want to do. The great thing about Silhouette Studio is that you can match the colors by using your um, your little Doppler tool over here. Um, yeah, and it's just a matter of, it's just about having fun with it and giving it a go. So I hope you found this video tutorial useful. I hope you enjoyed actually um, seeing my face talking to you guys. Let me know in the comments down below if you prefer these type of videos. I thought I would make it a little bit more personal by introducing you to me instead of you not actually seeing my face and just hearing my voice. Um, yeah, and I will be doing another video on other two templates that I have added to my shop, so please stay tuned for those. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and let me know in the comment section below. Otherwise, guys, have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.